Welcome to the coral reefs of Abiang Atoll in the Republic of Kiribati. We shot this video in 2018 at about 10 meters depth in the northern part of the atoll. We were there conducting surveys to study how the reefs are changing over time, and we are trying to understand whether those changes in the reef are affecting the reef's ability to protect shorelines from waves and from rising seas. As the climate warms, more and more corals are dying from bleaching events. What's left behind are often smaller and therefore younger corals, a few resilient species or other individuals, and a lot of dead coral rock, which is often covered in algae and other living things. Scroll around the 360 video and you'll see a lot of small corals, and you'll also see a lot of dead coral rock. The loss of living corals is a problem for the physical structure of a reef, not just for its biological diversity. You see, corals build the reef over time. Corals create these calcium carbonate structures similar to our bones. That's the reef. And the reef helps protect the shoreline. The drag created by the complex bumpy surface helps reduce wave sizes. If the physical structure of the reef breaks down over time and the reef bottom becomes smoother, then the shoreline is less protected from sea level rise. That's one of the big concerns about coral bleaching. If there aren't as many living corals, and corals aren't actively building the reef, it's gonna slowly erode away over time, leaving behind a smoother, less bumpy surface. To do this work, we collected depth measurements and a lot of photos. Heather Summers, leading this part of the project, took 3,000 or more photos at each site. Those photos were then used to create 3D mosaics of the reef and to measure the physical complexity, but that work was done on the computer. At each site, we would also collect images that we'd then use to analyze the biological diversity to see if it's changing. And we'd also go out and physically measure corals to see if the size of the corals are changing over time. We also collect temperature data in many of the sites by securing logging devices to the reefs. The hardest and most stressful part of the research is actually trying to find the temperature loggers. You see, we attach them to the reef and then return again one or two years later to find them. And if I had a video of a process of trying to find these tiny two inch temperature loggers which have often been overgrown by coral and algae over time, well, you'd know what cursing and frustration looks like underwater. This research is only possible with the support and help of our friends and partners at the Fisheries Division of Caribous' Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resource Development, and of the, with the hospitality of a number of local communities. So to everybody, thank you very much, or konang bas nrapa.